Hey folks, so today I want to conduct a little experiment. I have 100% no idea if this is going to work or if I'm even going to ruin anything trying it, but hey, you know, what's the point of science, right? So this is, I'm sure you've seen it before in passing, but maybe not this color. It's gotten a new coat of paint since last time. Uh, this is my AGS101 backlit Game Boy Color. It is in a boxy pixel aluminum, machined aluminum shell, and I've since got it coated in this nice matte green paint. Well, it's not really paint. It's um, a ceramic coating that is typically used on firearms, similar to powder coating. It's called Cerakote. I, uh, I absolutely love it. It came out beyond expectations. It feels amazing in the hand. It looks so much better than that brushed finish. And plus, you know, I, I, I bought this thing. It had a, um, I bought this shell pretty cheap because it was a blemished unit. So, you know, from the beginning I had plans to to do something. Not necessarily Cerakote, but that was uh, certainly, uh, certainly a possibility. But uh, anyway, I want to do some experimentation, see if I can get this to do something cool. Now, someone has already asked Ben Ven if this experiment will work. Ben Ven says no, and what I'm really testing is Ben Ven's hardware, so if he says no, probably has, uh, has a good reason. But... I was also told that that Game Boy Advance screen I just set up the other day, the Funny Playing IPS, I was told that that also doesn't work in a GBA SP. So, maybe there's some truth, maybe not. Maybe there's a caveat. Find out on this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z. Alright. I'm just going to take this thing apart. So the screws aside. So you can see, I got one of the earlier revisions without a um, power switch knob. You can see my little DIY solution was to just glue magnets in there. It's alright. It's not... I mean, it's definitely not going to replace the uh, detent. But it's uh, better than nothing, I suppose. So I do got to remove this battery. Mostly because I don't want to break anything. I'd rather just have it out of the way here. But also because while I have this open, I want to do some power testing. I'll just set that off to the side. And normally, there would be more screws holding this together, but I made a whoopsie. And now I'm down to just the one. I sheared a screw off in one of the two holes that you use on this revision. And yeah, there's no way that's going back together. So, let me... Uh, get this flipped up here. It's kind of weird because there's this wire for the power LED. But what I want to do is detach this screen. Eh, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second. I'll, I'll do my power usage tests first, then I'll come back to that. So I want to test the power here see how thirsty this mod is, and I know it's pretty thirsty. Let's see if I can hook onto that. Probably not. Yeah, I can't hook onto that one. Can I hook on there? Hmm. Let's solder on some wire, shall we? Just for testing, of course. Make 
make my life so much easier for this mod. I suppose I can turn the light on now, too. La -dee -da. Good enough. Not looking to win any beauty contests. I'm going to use the hooks. Alright, so. Try and flip this over here. Turn that on, we're set to 2.4 volts. And we see it boots up to the boot screen there at a whopping 222.223 point. Yeah, we'll call it 223. And this is adjustable brightness, but I'm kind of screwed on that one. Start, yeah. Oh, so that was max brightness there. Oops, went past it. We'll leave it on max brightness for testing because this is how I use the console. Alright, flip that off. Guess I don't have a choice because one of the leads came off. This is my testing game, it's just a uh, Japanese Pokemon Crystal converted over. I'm going to use it in the same fashion that I did the other... Oh, my solder came off. Fun. Oh well, easy fix. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Oops, sorry. Open the camera. All right. Let's try that again. I don't think the button lines up anymore, so that's cool. Same as the other one, just going to do the main menu there. And we're not much higher at, what, 2.38, or excuse me, 238, all the way up to 240. And, uh, yeah, that should be good enough for data gathering. Continue with the uh, investigation here. By the way, if you have a um, one of these BoxyPixel D-pads and you want to get your detent back, or not detent, excuse me, there's a little nubbin that makes it so you can't press all four directions at the same time that this doesn't include, you can just drill a small hole 
and insert a small plastic peg and that'll work. I'll post the measurements and stuff for that in the description. All right. So now got that detached. I'm going to flip that up like that. And just leave. oh, never mind. We're going to desolder it because one of my wires broke anyway. That is 100% what I was hoping to avoid. But such is life. Oh shit. My USB cable worked its way into my soldering iron holder. It's almost burning. Alright. Set that off there. Hopefully I didn't ruin anything. Now I need to get this console stripped down. I found a uh, screw cover there. Pretty stoked about that. Or screw cover. Um, battery cover screw. Sorry guys if this is super entertaining watching me take apart a console again instead of just preparing for a video ahead of time. Why would anyone do that? That doesn't make any damn sense. it's a daily occurrence to take this stupid Game Boy apart now. This particular one. Okay. And next. Oh, that's what fell. A little square nut. Thought I heard something fall. So this one's going to be a pain in the ass to take part as well because of those wires soldered. Hopefully I won't have to desolder them, but maybe I will. All right, so I'm going to hook up my battery ahead of time just to get ready because I feel like this is going to be a bitch and a half to maneuver. should leave that off though. Oh well, hindsight. And do we want to put a game in? Yeah, we'll put Pokemon Crystal in there. Just double check. Sounds like booted. Cool. Screen. Hopefully, I can. Uh, this is gonna be rough. So that doesn't fit in there. Contacts go down, so I can do it like this. Let me dump out these buttons that are gonna fall. Alright, so I guess I'm going to pick up where I left off, hopefully, maybe not. Um, I already put the GBASP back together and it still works fine. But when that screen is plugged into the, I'm sorry, I thought I had a 2.3, the V2.4 ribbon, you just get this snow on screen. There's, It's a static image, 
you can hear the Game Boy booting and then the power usage just ramps up crazy high until the Game Boy finally crashes. But it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why Ben Ben would lie about that, but it definitely doesn't work. But that's, that's what you get. Okay. And so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together now. Um, in the off chance that my footage got uh, deleted, I'm going to do some power usage tests again. Uh, sorry if uh, this is a duplicate, but my phone kind of locked up and it's showing that there's zero recorded footage. Everything except for the footage I was just recording is backed up, so I'm not too concerned, but it's still frustrating. So just on the uh, boot menu there, hopefully that doesn't short anything. I'm going to actually record it this time. Oh, and now you guys have my password. Don't, uh, don't break into my phone here. All right. I'm not going to bother recording low brightness or high brightness either. Uh, we'll call that 201. I'll fix that later. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. We'll put that there. Okay. So next we want to try out Pokemon Crystal. And if you can hear the static coming from the speaker, it's from the power supply, not from the Game Boy. I hope. And at this menu here, we're at a whopping, yeah, that's jumping up and down, we'll call it 221. All right. So now I'll flip that off. And we will unplug my ribbon here, but not going very far. Because it is kind of soldered to this PCB. Oh, I ripped my tape. Oh, that's not good enough. I'm suspecting double-sided tape. Hopefully I don't damage it when I do this. Game Boy Color screen. And slip that in there. Hopefully without damaging anything. And y'all just have to take my word for it. <laughs> but it's booted up. This is at stock. We'll call 52.7.
crystal here. the main menu got a whopping 66 all right let's get this mess out of here and put it back together hopefully the uh, expensive parts here weren't damaged my mistreatment I hate to be down a uh, Ben Ben ribbon or a AGS 101 screen just because I had to tinker I'll set that aside for the moment. Put that aside, put my screen away. Alright. Oh, and of course that's all covered in fingerprints now. my shirt whatever uh, let's do I'm not gonna put it back together with those aluminum buttons I like them but not in this game boy I have some OEM buttons here out of another game boy not cleaned unfortunately but not disgusting either so should be fine this is one of the parts I struggle with or I imagine a lot of people struggle with unless this has been fixed with newer shells it's probably easier to just trim the freaking membranes here quite fit over the there we go if you press if you uh, employ violence it'll work drop all that in there make sure that the ribbon is not being squeezed in between something that gets screwed down especially I'm going to screw down my one screw. Rather, I'm going to drop it. Come on. nice and tight that's not going anywhere and I've got to solder these back down luckily I know which is which because one broke and one was desoldered so that's the bottom one this is the top one otherwise I'd just be sitting here playing guess and check Oh, and I need to get the 
these out of here. Let's reattach the original battery. up like that. Good, everything still works. Okay. All the buttons are in place. Need to put in the IR window. And there you go, I guess. Yep. That's how you assemble one of the boxy pixel Game Boy Colors. And the reason I didn't use the original hardware that this kit was shipped with is um, it's actually a, a really, really complicated explanation, but it mainly boils down to the fact that I lost all the screws. But uh, there we go, that reassembled. And that reassembled, nothing's broken, so I think I'll I'll call that a success, even if what I set out to do didn't pan out. But either way, I'm still happy with it. Thanks for watching guys.